For the past few months, Uganda has been in the spotlight of a graft that drew international attention and fuel aid cuts. Now the Minister of State for Finance, Jishanu March, says this could impact on the economy. 24% of the budget is being uh, supported by our development partners. So if they withdraw some of this, then the implementation of the budget would become very, very uh, stringent. So uh, under instruction to make a statement uh, on the state of the economy within the next two weeks. As the lawmaking body has directed the ministry to present this report such that we get to know the challenges that the economy is facing at the moment. With key donor partners such as Denmark, Sweden and Ireland cutting aid, some MPs say the assets of those implicated in graft should have their accounts frozen and assets seized. The government to hurry the process so that these people uh, they have uh, brought to the book and they refund this money so that we can come out from this mess. Otherwise, the, the, what the minister has presented today in parliament, to me, it shows that the country is in crisis and we must come out very fast. Actually, people, they are not only swindling, they are actually vandalizing the economy. So at the end of the day, Ugandans are going to suffer, Ugandans are going to lose so many things and activities and business. When that credibility is withdrawn by World Bank or any other donor, it certainly affects us internationally. The World Bank Group is already reviewing its development assistance to Uganda and says it will also strengthen its own measures to ensure that its funds are used for their intended purposes. Meanwhile, the government is looking for funds to forward Isaac Musumba as one of the candidates to fill in the position of the Secretary General in the Organization of the Islamic Corporation. Maurice Ochol, NTV at Parliament.